Hello my friends, William Poloniak here again at Whole Health Foundation. Tonight I had a craving for some juice and I've run out of juice so I'm making a new batch and I'm going to show you my ingredients. Here I have collard greens, some romaine lettuce, French sorrel, carrots, and I also have ginger, garlic, and turmeric under the lettuce here somewhere. Okay, let's make some juice. But the first thing I'm going to do is feed in three ice cubes to cool the cutter. Let's recycle that ice and we'll put the first collars through. I'm going to do the romaine lettuce. Check your wing nuts frequently. And to sweeten the juice up, I'm going to put one apple in. And I'll cut the apple into quarters to make it more manageable. I'm going to switch to the French sorrel and when I'm done with my greens I'm going to do the carrots and I have one onion from my garden here. So let's do the onion before we clean the carrots. your grid often, especially when you do greens. Greens are very fibrous. So I've done my greens, one whole clove, one whole bulb of garlic, about two inches of turmeric and about four inches of ginger. And next we'll start with the French sorrel. And we're up to 29, so let's put three ice cubes in first. done with all my greens and I want to remind you to always clean your grit frequently. Sometimes you have to pry that grit out if there's a lot of fiber on it like I'm doing here. And I'm going to switch from the J grid to the number two grid to do my carrots because the number two grid, that's one eight inch holes, is much better than doing carrots. I'll clean that grid later. When you have small carrots like I do, you can put them end to end. You'll save a little bit of time that way. Put two or three in at a time. Always keep this covered, remember. Okay, I'm down to my last carrot. Now here's a handy tip. Whenever you're down to your last produce, there'll always be a plug of produce in here, whether it's a carrot or something else. So take a couple of handfuls of pulp and force that last plug through. Now the next thing I'm going to do is clean my feed tube, reassemble the juicer with the clean feed tube, the clean grid and everything, and then make my juice. So first I will clean the grid. And remember, you should clean your grid frequently when you're making juice. So next I'm going to thoroughly mix my ingredients. I'm going to spin the bowl in both directions. And remember to always wear gloves. It makes it easier for you to do 
all kinds of cleanup like I just did there. And next we'll fold the cloths in sets of six and I'll show you my six cloth less work method. Alright, I'm going to show you my less work six cloth method. This goes forward, this goes over. And since we're doing this less work method, we don't need to wait for every last scrub. So the spent cloths are going to go on top. New cloths full of pulp into the press, centered left to right, front to back. That's very important. All the way back and back it off a little bit. Now there's two ways that you can do the less work method. One way, if there's a lot of puddling in here, show. If you have a lot of juice puddling in here, you can put the old pulp back in here to absorb that juice. Or, as I'll show you in the next cloth, you can put new pulp on top of the old pulp. Now watch my folding technique. I'm going to tuck that under with my fingers. Set that aside. And this is the other less work six cloth method. If you don't have a lot of puddling in your bowl, just put one or two spoons of new pulp, advance that all the way. Whenever you're on your last cloth, you advance it all the way. It's all designed to save you time. This goes forward, that goes over. This on top. Now I notice I'm full, so I have to put this into my bottles. I'll turn this off, I'll turn around and start filling the bottles. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it all but the last seven or eight percent and I'm going to top it off with distilled water or filtered water because I don't like my juice to be too sweet. Okay, I've finished pressing all my cloths and so far I've gotten 12 bottles of juice and I'm going to repackage the spent pulp into a thick and narrow ball and repress it and see how many more ounces we can get using the Whole Health Foundation Premium Juicer with the solid bottom base plate and other premium parts. So as tight a package as we can get and notice my folding technique. I'm folding it under because I want to minimize uh, slippage and we'll fold it in this direction and fold it under as well. Notice that. <coughs> And we'll flatten that down. That's very important. We'll put two cloths at a time into the tray. And let's see, can we get more juice out of spent cloths all the way back? And I'm going to back it off because I don't want that to go off too quickly. so far. The good news is any Norwalk juicer can be converted into a premium whole health foundation juicer with the bottom base plate, the premium bottom base plate and other premium parts. So there we have almost nine and a half ounces. So what I'm going to do because my beaker is full is pour that into here and do my, do my last two sets of cloths, repackaged cloths. All the way back and back it off a little. All right, we'll advance it a little bit more, a little bit more, and then all the way. Now remember, we're using a Whole Health Foundation premium model juicer with a solid bottom plate, solid press plate, premium pulley and drive belt, which gives you much, much better pressure. Now I'm going to put one more set of cloths on top, see if we can press out more juice. All the way back, and as soon as we get juice full, I'm going to back that off. starting to slip. That's a little more. We don't want to go up too fast. Your most valuable nutrients are in the last 10% of your pressing. Your first 10% is mostly water. So all the way back.
is another nine ounces of juice. Well, I'm not going to wait for every last thimble full. You get the idea. And we'll pour this in here and transfer this to another bottle, another 16 ounce bottle. And I'm going to top that off with water, but we have enough for a taste test here. Let's do the taste test. Now remember, this is collard greens, some romaine lettuce, French sorrel, ginger, garlic, and turmeric. And one onion and one apple. Here's to your health, my friends. Oh, that's delicious. That's my best formula yet. Here's to your health, everyone. If you'd like to call me, my phone number is 760-753-0321. My email address is developtrust at cox.net. And my webpage is wholehealthfound.com. See you in the next video. Delicious.